Frank Oz is a famous actor known for his roles in many movies and TV shows. You might recognize him from The Muppet Show or as Yoda in Star Wars. He's done lots of different things in his career that people all over the world enjoy. Share your favorite memories or stories about him below, and keep an eye out for more interesting facts about his career. Frank Oz, known for his work in the film industry, has been involved in various projects across different genres. Some of his notable works include directing Little Shop of Horrors and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. However, he's best recognized for his work with puppetry and voice acting, particularly as the voice of Yoda in the Star Wars franchise. For fans eager to explore his work, there are some must-watch movies. The Muppet movie is a good start as it introduced the iconic Muppets franchise. The Dark Crystal is another noteworthy film showcasing Oz's puppetry skills. Additionally, The Empire Strikes Back is essential viewing to experience his portrayal of Yoda. Starting with the Muppet movie can introduce viewers to his talent for puppetry and storytelling. The Dark Crystal offers insight into his approach to fantasy film linebreaking, and The Empire Strikes Back allows audiences to witness his iconic portrayal of Yoda. Exploring Oz's filmography reveals a rich history of imaginative storytelling and memorable characters that have left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In the movie, there's a bright sign that blinks choose, but the Oz part is like a little nod to the director, showing his special style. There's a funny moment while they were filming where Vincent Gardenia messed up a line. He and Rick Moranis couldn't stop laughing about it. Moranis teased him a bit, and Gardenia chuckled along. The director had to film their close-ups separately to fix it, so the scene would look smooth, even with the mistake. Even though everyone got along well on set, there were some tensions between him and Wilford Brimley. Their different personalities clashed a lot while they were making the movie, which made things a bit uneasy behind the scenes. But even with their differences, they stayed professional and gave great performances that really grabbed people's attention. The friction between them made their scenes together even more intense, showing off their acting skills and how dedicated they were to their work. In the end, despite the challenges and disagreements, the movie turned out to be really great, showing how talented and determined everyone was who worked on it. Every scene and every line was carefully made to be just right, giving audiences a movie experience that they still love today. The movie reminds us how powerful storytelling and teamwork can be in the world of movies. In the early 80s, Frank Oz directed Miss Piggy and the Muppets Take Manhattan, while Jim Henson, occupied with other projects, chose Oz for the role. For Muppets from Space, he provided the voice over. In the DVD Kamalant entry, Kermit mentions his involvement in both films, noting Disney's ownership of both franchises. In Muppet Treasure Island, Oz couldn't puppeteer due to directing Kamalan treatments. Kevin Clash took over puppeteering, using Oz's recorded voice as a guide. He described Miss Piggy as a truck driver wanting to be a woman, and Fozzie Bear as akin to Jerry Lewis. His role in these films remains notable in The Muppets' legacy. John Candy initially turned down a role in a movie directed by Frank Oz, but later he changed his mind and asked for a smaller part. Oz agreed and gave Candy the role of radio DJ Wink Wilkinson. In the same movie, Oz himself played Miss Piggy. To make the movie more realistic, they included a real minister named Reverend Cyril Jenkins in the wedding scene. In another film, The Muppet Movie, Oz appeared in motorcycle gear at the El Slizo Cafe. He played a tough character who gets into a fight with Fozzie Bear and other Muppet characters. Oz show with his acting skills in various roles from funny to serious. His work in the entertainment industry has left a lasting impact. This story shows how collaboration in film tracking creates memorable moments. He's well known for his famous roles like Yoda in Star Wars and the voice of Miss Piggy. He worked with Carrie Fisher in The Blues Brothers and directed Debbie Reynolds in In and Out. Four of his movies, including The Muppet Movie and The Empire Strikes Back, are considered really important and are in a special list. Jim Henson encouraged him to work on the script for The Muppets Take Manhattan, aiming to make the characters better. His work in movies has had a big effect on how stories are told, leaving a strong impression on people who watch them. His work is appreciated all over the world. In two Muppet movies, the character Miss Piggy was portrayed by Frank Oz. In Muppet Treasure Island, the director noted that initially, he wasn't fond of a joke involving Fozzie Bear's Mr. Bimble, but he ended up loving it during filming. 
In the Muppet movie, Jim Henson, who originally wanted to direct the film himself, was persuaded by Sir Lou Grade and Frank Oz to focus more on puppet techniques rather than directing. Frank Oz's father had polished Jewish roots and his mother was of Belgian descent. Despite initial doubts, he left a significant impact in the Muppet world, bringing characters like Miss Piggy to life on the big screen. This text was, in the movie Muppets from Space, Frank Oz performed as Miss Piggy. However, because he wasn't available for most of the filming, other puppeteers stepped in to play the characters. Oz later recorded the voices for the characters during the editing process. During a scene where Freddy is in jail and trying to remember Lawrence's name, Steve Martin improvised the entire scene. Oz directed Martin's improvisation from behind the camera, signaling when to interrupt Martin. For the character Oren Scrivello, Tim Curry initially turned down the role. Oz considered John Travolta and Dan Aykroyd as backups in case Steve Martin couldn't take the part. Robin Williams was also briefly thought of but declined because he didn't want to do another musical. Eventually, Martin accepted the role. This information was, during the film production, someone at the Jeffen Company tried to cast Rodney Dangerfield without Frank Oz's knowledge. They even attempted to have him record the vocals for Audrey II secretly. In September 1986, when the film Alimtrakers returned to Pinewood Studios for reshoots, revised script pages with Dangerfield in a role were present. In The Great Muppet Caper, Oz took on the role of Miss Piggy. For wide shots involving Kermit the Frog, Fozzie Bear, and the Great Gonzo in a hot air balloon, they utilized remote control Muppets and a radio controlled balloon. Oz, along with Jim Henson and Dave Goals, performed their characters from a helicopter, while a cameraman hung from another helicopter. During a rough landing, the remote balloon tipped over, causing damage to Fozzie Bear. Muppet builder Amy Van Gilder fixed it, earning a special on-screen credit. Encouraging improvisation in some scenes, spontaneous moments made it into the final film. For instance, Robert Downey Jr., Eddie Murphy, and Steve Martin added lines that made it into the movie. In the early days of The Muppet Show, changes were made to some characters by one of its key players. The person who brought Fozzie Bear to life on screen thought that certain features like the character's moving ears and hanging mouth were not needed. Besides playing Fozzie, this person, known for being talented in many ways, liked to tweak and improve the characters he played. It's been said that Vincent Gardenia, a respected actor, thought that his selection for the role of Mushnik in Little Shop of Horrors might have been influenced by something as simple as his name. This idea, though a bit whimsical, shows how casting decisions can sometimes be influenced by peculiar details. As time passed, this actor-director stopped giving autographs because he felt disappointed seeing many of them being sold on auction sites. In the world of entertainment, people like him often deal with the challenges of fame and the pressures that come with it. Through his work on The Muppet Show and other projects, he left a lasting mark on popular culture. This quick look into his career and personal choices gives us a glimpse into the complexities of making creative decisions in the entertainment world where even small details can have a big impact.